three miles north of here at Fort Story. Three miles up the beach and you've tied it to the commander? They're all shot up. So's his boat. Got to be a connection. And you are? Diane Fontaine, WXCK News. I'd like to ask you some questions. Donozo! Yeah! Escort Miss Fontaine off our crime scene, please. Miss Fontaine? Let's go, guys. Sergeant uh, Lynn, is it? You in the habit of convicting people before the investigation starts? What? Hey, what we got, oh, Gibbs? Why? Commander's wallet with the sergeant's prints. You removed a wallet from a body without gloves? I had to get the Vic's name. He's not a Vic. He's a victim. Where did you learn crime scene procedure? Watching Kojak reruns? OK, now just hold on. What then. else? Doc, I'll see you at the crime scene. scene. All right, let's start at the beginning. Tell me what you did when you got here from the top. A herd of elephants went through here. Yeah, just one fat local Leo. Hey, Kate, bag this. I'll do the photos. Well, Tony told me what to do. Tony doesn't tell you what to do. I do. Your elephant said the commander's boat got shot up. Why don't you grab an extra kit from the truck and work that scene? By myself? You need help? No, I got it. And have it towed back to the garage when you're done. And get the witness reports while you're at it. Any more assignments like that, boss? Let's get her number? Oh, yeah. You think he was shot or drowned? Well, either way, he's dead. It's too bad. Good guy. Got you out of that sexual harassment lecture. I'd rather be at the lecture. That man is an imbecile. He shouldn't be a school crossing guard. Here, move. I haven't heard you this piss since you shoved that French flick off a cliff, Doc. Well, you shoved a French cop over a cliff? There was a lake below. 60 feet below? <laughs> Doc, this crime scene's a mess. Can we move the body? Why not? The imbecile obviously has. Let's turn him over, see if he was shot in the back. Guess we can rule out accidental drowning. Oh, my friend. Even if you'd survived the water, you would never have walked again. DEA found a couple of bodies up at Fourth Story might be tied to this. At least they know not to contaminate a crime scene. Hey, you two clean this up, bag them, meet us up there. Well, it gives you a warm feeling, doesn't it? What? Knowing Gibbs trusts us with a contaminated crime scene. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's get him out of here. This must be him. Special Agent Gibbs. Yeah. Sergeant Lynn radioed you were coming. Agent Ken Fuller, DEA. All right. This is Captain Bradstone, Army yeah. CID. Uh, our ME, Dr. Mallard. Agent Fuller, Captain. Looks like your Navy man fell in with a bad crowd. Ah, oh, Gibbs, this scene is pristine. We're not amateurs. Who says they're connected? How many guys you know go out fishing in the middle of the night? Me. Well, I guarantee you these two guys didn't. They meet up with cargo ships off the coast, bring in coke. Where's their boat? There's a drug war going on. I figured they got jacked for the boat and the coke. Cap, is CID working this crime scene? Emmy's not available till tomorrow. And since this may have something to do with your Navy officer, Army has no objection to NCIS and DEA working it. Just send us all your reports. Yep, thanks, Captain. It's OK to touch, Doc? You have my permission. How many drug dealers you know dump the bodies and the cash? 